All right. Uh, I'm going to show you all something. Pack R. What is this? What is the purpose of this? Why does nobody use it? Can it be helpful? You know? Okay. We got a water filter separator housing. This is an a Cummins. Of course, you know, it's red, so it's Cummins. This is a uh, test port that Cummins gives you to check your vacuum. Okay? Since your pump is that way, it's drawing, it has a vacuum pulling fuel that way. If your vacuum is, say, 20 inches or more, you got a restriction. Filter, um, something in the line, something, <laughs> something we see is rocks, pantyhoses, pieces of board, bark, uh, taco wrappers. Only God knows what you're going to find in there. Bugs, dead scorpions, all of which I have found. So anyway, the purpose of this is you put your quick connect right here, but you put a vacuum gauge, and then you test for vacuum. <clears throat> if you have no vacuum, or, if, you know, then you have an air leak. It's sucking air. You need to have a little bit of vacuum, uh, two to three inches of vacuum is normal, sometimes six or seven is normal. If I remember right, I think the allowable vacuum before you have to consider a restriction is I think 10, 12, 12 inches of vacuum. I got to go look. I don't remember. It's been a long time since I looked at the spec. But, um, you know, normally you see them around eight, 12. Funny thing is, uh, if you put Cummins filters and if you change them to Napa filters, sometimes that'll change the reading, even though they're brand new filters. Uh, I think Wix, uh, they, they, they tend to have a high vacuum draw. I think like they're 10 or 11. I don't remember the brand, so don't hold me to it. But the point here is that when if you change different filters, different brands, you, you can have a different reading right here closer to the limit. But anyway, just little tech tip of the night. 